China. 59 are infected by a new undiscovered virus. 7 are hospitalized in critical condition and 2 people die. But what is the cause of this new outbreak? And should we be scared? <laughs> Sorry for that dramatic intro, but the news actually are dramatic. Uh, a new uh, unknown virus and pneumonia in China. They actually discovered what the virus is like a week ago. Um, I'm going to cover everything from what the virus is, what the symptoms are, what like the cure is, um, and my worries and predictions as for what will happen with the new outbreaks. It all started December 19th. 2019. People all around uh, the city of Wuhan, which is the capital of the Hubei province of China, started reporting that they're feeling ill with uh, pneumonia-like symptoms and fever. December 31st, they traced down the viral outbreak to a seafood market in Wuhan. The seafood market was uh, quarantined and disinfected, but the people had already been infected and were spreading the virus all around Wuhan. Since then, um, 59 people have been infected with the virus, 7 of which have been hospitalized and are still in critical condition, and as of uh, the 17th of January of 2020, 2 people have died of the virus. As of January 8th, 2020, the virus wasn't the only thing spreading. Panic started spreading as well all around the globe. Officials in Taiwan, Hong Kong, the Philippines, South Korea, and Thailand reported that they were building quarantine zones to receive passengers from China in search of symptoms like fever and pneumonia. Just under 16 infections in a month from a um, pulmonary virus isn't a lot. Uh, the virus doesn't spread very well between people. But the threat is that in late January is the Lunar New Year holidays, where people from all around China will be traveling throughout Asia and throughout the entire world. And a massive travel wave isn't ideal when we're under a um, epidemic threat in China, um, if you know what I mean. <laughs> now I know what you're thinking. Oh my god, a new unknown virus that is so scary. Well, I have uh, good news and bad news for you. Good news is they actually found what the virus is. It's a coronavirus, which is a type of virus we already know about. Uh, bad news is, another coronavirus we know about is SARS. Um, so yikes. SARS stands for Severe Acute Respiratory Syndrome. It caused a large epidemic in 2003 and killed just over 800 people. Uh, symptoms were mostly fever, chills, muscle aches, cough, pneumonia and stuff. Uh, and transmission, actually, if two people were talking from three feet away and one of them had SARS, the other one would mostly, most likely get SARS. So, pretty bad. <laughs> now, don't worry too bad, our virus right now isn't as infectious as SARS. The problem is the Lunar New Year ev like event, because there will be a lot of plane travel, as I said earlier, and if you think about it, a plane is literally a lot of people jam-packed together. Say one of them has the virus, coughs, sneezes, droplets propagate everywhere, and before you know it, you got 50 more infections on your hands. So, yeah, planes, that that's the main problem right now. <laughs> Now for the question my friends at school ask me, and probably a couple people ask themselves, will they reach Canada and the US? Um, and my answer to this is, maybe, but don't worry too bad about it. Like, let's say this virus is the same thing as SARS, which it's not, by the way, SARS is way worse. SARS infected 400 Canadians, a little bit more, and killed right under 50. That isn't the massive amounts people are thinking of. I've seen people demonize this virus so much, like the virus we have currently. People on YouTube comments are like, Yo, this is the plague sent by God to reap human flesh or some bullshit. <laughs> like, chill out, it's not the plague, it's not AIDS. Even, even Yersinia pestis and HIV are manageable in 2020. Actually, it's so unbalanced. People right now are like, either fearing it or saying like, Oh, it's, it's chill, it's the fucking cold. No, it's neither of those, it's probably in between. But... Don't worry too bad, guys. You, you live in Montreal. Like, come on. <laughs> this is in fucking province in eastern China. Like, chill out, guys. And before people are like, yo, but what are you saying? Pandemics exist. Yes, they do. Yes, there's a chance to get the virus. 
but chill out, this is a coronavirus. You're allowed to worry wherever you live, but this isn't the plague sent by the gods to fucking kill homo sapiens or something. Like, guys, chill out. This is a threat, this is scary, but it's far from as worse as people say it is. Also, for the cure, um, it's like most viruses, there's no set cure, um, it's just treatment. You can treat this virus, it's not like an unstoppable force of the gods. Ch treat the symptoms, plenty of rest, you should be okay. And finally, for the conspiracy theory. I've seen people on YouTube and some of my friends say that this is a biological weapon, a ploy from the Chinese government to kill its citizens. I don't think it is. Maybe it is, but just think about the fallen question. Why would the government weaponize a coronavirus while it could easily weaponize a bacterium, which is a hundred times easier, or something more common like an influenza strain? So yes, maybe it's a bioweapon, maybe it's not. If it is, well, they have done a pretty trash job of doing it. I mean, plus, it's literally the Chinese government who said that the virus was a coronavirus. Why would they give out information about their virus? Then it'll be like, yo, but maybe they're lying. No, they're not. It's pretty obvious it's a coronavirus based on the symptoms, based on the infection, transmission, on the um, place it started. Maybe I'm wrong. I prob I'm probably not, but maybe I am. And they're lying, and this is a conspiracy, and the government wants to kill everyone. But why? Just why the fuck would they use a coronavirus? And by a coronavirus, one that weak. It's not weak, but it's like, use SARS, use anything else. Yeah, use anything else than coronavirus like that. And this concludes the video. Conclusion, um, yes, there is a virus in China, a new virus. Um, yes, new diseases are scary and stuff. And yes, it might travel everywhere. I'm not that worried, personally. And I'm probably going to record more of this myself when we have more news. So prepare for that. If I don't post anything... Pro nothing happened probably uh, I don't think anything will happen I don't want anything to happen but if something happens I'll be there to announce it <laughs> yeah okay so I'm gonna stop this here hope you enjoyed this um, news video which I never did before and uh, yeah bye guys <laughs>